Now that's what I call an explosion. It blew us straight into the tunnels, Van Helsing. Van Helsing? No, don't you die on me. I'm too young to haunt the same place for eternity. That's touching, Katarina. Don't give up. You have just defeated your first villain. You have so many things ahead of you. I'm not dying. I'm just stuck. What is this? Who are you? Stay back! Move aside. I'm warning you. You're powerless for the moment. Please move aside. Well, that was fun, Katarina. What's going on? Who is this? Is it a man? A troublesome intruder. He just appeared out of nowhere and... And humbly gave my assistance to Van Helsing, the great liberator of Borgova. Do I know you? Hurry up. This structure may collapse at any moment. That's How the least... First, I want to know who you are. And perhaps you could explain why you are so helpful. I always find that suspicious in a masked creature. The mask hides deformations and the scars. The reminders of years of captivity in a lab. You are a test subject? Fulmigadi's favorite. Once a powerful being, now only a husk of my former self. Until your heroic deeds brought chaos to the prison. And so I escaped. You're doing this out of gratitude? And revenge. Though the professor is dead, his heritage and his allies still remain. This tortured soul wants them to suffer. So you're proposing? I must take my leave. We'll talk more later. He did it again. And the way he talks, annoying. I'm sure he'll return. Let's go. Quite a bit. Look, humans! They must have used the ink too. Now they're trapped here like us. Good. I'm hungry. Your 
servant begs your pardon for bringing bad news, but there could be problems. You don't say. This place has a powerful device, a marvel of weird science. It binds this patch of the ink into a loop that won't let anyone escape. You seem to be able to come and go as you please. I have a particularly strong connection to the ink. The one thing my captors weren't able to take away. Then get us out. Take us with you. That's beyond this one's powers. But a temporary portal could take you close to the device. Once you defeat its guardians, we can disable it. Why should I trust you? Trust is overrated. You can take that on trust. The portal will remain active until you leave this area. I don't trust that humble creature. I bet we could find a way out of this room on our own. More rage. Is it ever? Fulmigadi's army has withdrawn. Somebody is calling them back. They are still a chaotic mess, but they will regroup. Somebody wants to see you fall. Nothing new about that. An alliance is what you need. This tormented body is no longer able to fight. But my powers allow me to discover secrets. I can be your master spy. And you can let me have retribution. But if we're to be allies, at least tell me your name. A name? Yes. I used to have one. But that person was killed a long time ago. This wretched ruin of a man standing here is merely called Prisoner Seven. I don't know.
It all seemed so simple. Defeat the mad scientist and ride into the sunset. But sometimes victory leaves you buried under the ruins. I was lucky. Someone saved me. For a change, I'm not the only mysterious stranger in town. But weeks have passed, and the metropolis of weird science is still waiting for its own savior. Outlaws and escaped monsters roam the streets. The resistance is too weak, so someone else decided to take matters into his own hands. General Harker, the military genius of the city, came back from his exile. He gathered the rest of the disorganized army. His forces are a chaotic mess of weird machines. So far, but they're slowly clearing out the streets. He might not have seen eye to eye with Fulmigati, but he regards me and the Resistance as a threat to the city, a coalition of monsters and troublemakers. As a hunter, I won't tolerate others hunting me. I'm ready to fight. I have an underground lair, new soldiers, and my new mysterious ally. I'm quite used to unlikely companions, but Prisoner 7 is the most unusual so far. A former test subject of the mad scientists, master of the ink. He's certainly helpful, but I don't know what to make of him. Now he can prove his worth. Parker's troops are on the move. They want to control the foundries so he can build more war machines. We will stop them in the sizzling, clanking heart of Borgova. Let the battle begin.
general has no chance against us. I'm just a simple ghost, Van Helsing. But you might want to use your occult abilities to jump back to the commander. Join the resistance, they said. It'll be fun, they said. sends his regards, but he had to leave in a hurry to destroy the Force Walls. You are in charge. Last time I checked, vampires couldn't stand daylight. But he is a modern vampire, defying superstition and spontaneous combustion at the same time. I wouldn't worry for him. I haven't seen daylight for a while in this smoke. Anyway, General Harker is busy preparing his next attack. Are you ready to employ your tactical genius? But of course. I'm quite tactical. And a genius, too. I'll visit the posts and give orders to the men. Sir, armed forces are approaching our positions. Keep your positions. Don't forget to make a glorious speech if you have to. Positions. No one will get through here, I swear. Great news, Captain. It's time for a great motivational speech, don't you think? Blasted Ornithopter, sir! I'm afraid we can't hold out much longer. Deploy the automated turrets and stand your ground. The scouts report our enemies are going to attack from two sides. You must hold this position. It's crucial. Deploy the automated turrets and drive back the soldiers, at any cost.
reporting for duty. Are the troops ready to move out? Absolutely. They're all ready. And you, are you ready to fight? I'll do another round just to make sure everything is in order. The, are the troops ready to- Absolutely. And you? I'm always ready to fight, Commander. I go to the front line and wait there before they attack. Good work, boys, but don't get too comfortable yet. was ripping through the ink, delivering dispatches, witnessing your captain oh so in need of your assistance. Visit them if you can. You know what, Hussein? I simply can't understand why you trust this restless creature. Prisoner 7 is here to help. He used to be falling out his big team after all. Look at him. If he lived under the opera house and played the organ, you'd be the first to hunt him down. Harsh words from an incorporeal being who turns into a raging beast when she's angry. Fine. You had to play the ghost card again. holding out, sir. But those blasted ornithopters are a menace. We should destroy their launch tower before the next attack. Scouts report three control stations in the tower. We might use them to disable those infernal machines. Possibly. But we need someone with proper expertise to do that. Where are the engineers? As far as I know, they are at the weapons depot in the upper factory grounds. All right. I'll see if I can take care of those ornithopters for you.
Sir, we cannot hold this position much longer. We should demolish at least one of these elevated rail tracks to stop the enemy. You can solve everything in Borgovia by blowing up some bridges. A radical idea. But we don't have any explosives. There is a phlogiston tank right under the rail bridge. If we open the three taps, the gas will burst through the vents, creating flammable clouds. I love blowing up bridges as much as the next Borgovian. The residents have already fled or have been evacuated, which means that we can risk the plan. Let's do this.
Han Helsing. So, you are in command now. Good question. Is the ship commanding the storm? Don't listen to her. Yes, and I have a task for you. There is an ornithopter launch tower nearby, and it's causing us plenty of grief. If I get you there, can you disable it? Well, I could use an overlord that would shut it down for good, but isn't that thing beyond our defenses? Nah, a few enemy hordes along the way, the odd behemoth here and there. Trust me, it'll be mind-numbingly boring. Don't worry. I'll keep you alive. All right. I place my trust in you, Hunter. Managed to hold our ground, but only just. Parker is now familiar with our positions. My scouts tell me that the general is preparing a full-scale artillery attack. I recommend that we send our men back to the second line of defense. From now on, you are in charge here. Great. I'll give the orders for the second line. Do you need anything else? 
Call back the soldiers from the first line. I go to the front line and wait there before they attack. beyond our lines, where the cargo elevators go down to the rookery. Vlados is trapped there.
duty. Certainly live up to our expectations, sir. You saved us in the last minute. What happened to you, Captain? And where is Count Vlados? Count Vlados is gone, sir. What do you mean, gone? Did he crumble to dust, or did he just slip away to throw a doomsday party again? You really shouldn't question his dedication to the cause, milady. He led his unit to one of the electricity works to disable the force domes from there. Then suddenly Harker's specialist swarmed the area. We had no choice but to retreat. I'll take it from here, Captain. Go back to the front line. You are needed, Van Helsing. The commander wants to talk to you. You must also save a weapon shipment and rescue someone important. Van Helsing, you give a new meaning to the term one-man army. At least it's a well-tested, unproven method. is going to die. We must take him to safety now. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know that we don't have time to play with those people who are shooting at us. Great, you're finally here. I was close to leaving on my own. Everyone is a one-man army now. It's your fault, Hunter.
Have you seen a stranger with a ridiculous hat? We have an urgent order from the War Council. You must find- We have a War Council now? And who is this soldier? Private Brian. Not I... that I know of. A simple soldier. I'm all about helping people. But Count Vlados is gone. Yes, I do. I have my orders. And I'm willing to sacrifice hundreds if that's what it takes to save Private Brian. Easy, Commander. I understand. I sent his squadron to track eight. Did you save Private Brian? Not yet. Thank you, Captain. I'm looking for a certain private Brian. And he should have a lightning-shaped scar on his forehead. Don't listen to her. Do you know where we can find this man? I sent him with a squadron to destroy a freight car filled with flubby... Are you going to give me orders?
are under heavy attack. Did you save Private Brian? Yes, we did. And I... I wouldn't know anything about that. I suggest focusing on the defenses until we get Vlados back. I still have to take care of some... We're... Can we talk about the state of our defenses? I still have... To... Fear not, lads. Van Helsing is here. the state of our defenses. Vlados is gone, and our defenses are crumbling. Our job... In this case, we must return to the lair. You're right, Commander. But there are still civilians.
What now? Do you remember the machine that poor mad professor filled out of all the lenses? If you mean the gigantic things that are told to you to smash me to a pulp, then yes, it feels lovely. Great. Then you'll love the upgraded version, the Octopod Annihilator in the most. As far as I know, it's a gold And if we fail to stop it, it will destroy our defenses. That's it? We're running away? You are merely gaining valuable time until I do what I do. Wait, did you just say I? You are right, my lady. This one went too far. Enough. We'll go back to the lair to regroup. As famous last stands go, the battle for Viaduct Junction was quite spectacular. Sadly, it doesn't change the fact that we are losing this war. I even had to leave behind important allies. General Harker is a worthy opponent. He has salvaged the mad scientist's toy box, found some real treasures, and used them wisely. Now the Four Stones are keeping us away from strategically important positions, and the unnatural soldiers are forcing us back to the lair. Harker is on his way to occupy the foundries. The mysterious Prisoner Seven promise to find a way to destroy the domes. Until then, we must remain in the lair that the General is so desperate to find. So, we will have to keep him busy. Congratulations, Van Helsing. Great. What did I do again? Don't be ridiculous. That was an honest praise. I think you are a good commander. I'm still a better monster hunter. I've never said you were a great commander, but every beginning is difficult.
Sir, we found this strange ornithopter in the tunnels. We tried to shoot it, but it... Great. So our associate mad If he stays there, the general will eventually use his genius. Will you send out a rescue team, sir? No, my friend. Rescue missions are my speciality. Yes, sir. Commander Petrov, what? Van Helsing, the War Council elite. Wait, is this a punishment? And what exactly would be my time? You have to prepare the resistance elite squads and... Van Helsing, sir! Easy, Captain. I'm still a... Ivan Sarovich reporting, sir! You must be one of those. Nice day, isn't it, sir? Doesn't you... ring a bell. Sorry. Right you are, sir. Exploration. Is arrogance something they teach? For the resistance! <laughs> are you a medical doctor? No, or... my lady. I treat no... Attention, resistance fighters. Testing the aerial transmitter. One. Two, three. I could just take my me. soldiers are ready. I'm ready, Van Helsing. I'm Do you need me now, sir? With a proper laboratory, I could do wonders here. I feel stuck here. I need a open. genius and a diplomat. <laughs> That's me, yes. General Harker had sent his soldier things down to the underground tunnels. They are still looking for the lair. They will eventually cut us off if we don't stop them now. That's the perfect opportunity. This reminds me of my army days. <laughs> 